Welcome back and in this video we are going to look at how to create a smart cryptocurrency portfolio. And you must be wondering what is why I'm calling this as a smart cryptocurrency wallet. Well this is our own system. We have a system to do something like this because we want to make things easier for ourselves. So we follow a plan to limit the risk because we are conservative by nature and enhance the reward potential for our portfolio. When we take risk, we take calculated risk. So we have a technique here and this SMART is an acronym for that. S stands for secured wallets. We use only a few number of wallets which are relatively more secured for storing the cryptos. Now, we have shared one wallet here in this course and many more we would be sharing in the upcoming more advanced courses. Just so you know, we will be talking about everything about the wallets in a different course because that itself is a bigger subject. Now, M stands for manageable position. This means we go for a smaller position rather than a bigger sum. We believe in investing $100, $200, $400, $500, and in the worst case scenario, even if we are too bullish, maximum could be $1,000, never ever more. In more of the situations, we, st we start, you know, believe in $100, $200 kind of a uh, manageable sum. A stands for achievable returns, which means we have realistic expectation from our investment. We know there would be some kind of volatility and as long as we are sure of what's going on and we look at the technicals, then we can decide if that's for a short term gain, then we are going to sell it. If it's not, we're going to keep it until there is a real reason, there's a real sign not for selling it. R stands for research. We strongly believe that there are many opportunities, but the only way to filter out everything is through your own research. Now, majority of the opportunities are not worth for us. There might be thousands of those opportunities. We only go for what basically comes out from our hopper system. And we say, this is what the rock solid opportunity is. Let's go ahead and take the risk. And we also invest at the right time. T stands for technical. We never invest in any cryptocurrency which is not liquid in nature. What do I mean? I mean, if we buy something, we want to sell it when we need to sell it. It doesn't matter what the potential is. If we can't sell it, that opportunity is not a good opportunity for us. We'll share more about all of this in the upcoming, upcoming advanced courses. Because this is a beginner's focused course. So we'll keep all of other things for future. Now, another reminder that you have access to the worldwide opportunities here. So be selective while deciding your pick. We like to play safe. I'm sure you know by this time. And that's why we can only teach here what our approach is, which is much more conservative. Now, coming to our portfolio approach, which I think we're going to show it over here for your benefit. And again, keep in mind, this is purely for teaching purpose only. At the bottom, we have two core assets, and that's basically 60% of our portfolio. First one is Bitcoin, which is 60%. Second one is Ethereum, which is 40%. Now, this is our core asset. We're going to hold it for the long, long position. Uh, so this is a long-term investment for us. Uh, the overall share of this tier, which is the first tier, is 60% of our overall assets. The second one is the altcoins. So we want to hold those altcoins, which through our research we find it good. And that share is 30% of the overall portfolio. And that's distributed to some like, you know, just for example, purpose, Litecoin, Zen, Factum, F FCT, uh, Gifto, GTO, you know, those kind of ones. The last top tier is to play money. Basically, it's a play money of 10% which is invested in a variety of tokens, platform, you know, cryptocurrencies such as VAX, gas, stores, you know, all of those. So once this is fully populated, then the action after that is to keep monitoring, 
it through a portfolio tracker and we're going to share which portfolio tracker and all that in a separate video and that's it it's that simple i think it's enough for this video and it introduces you to the whole concept so now see you in the next video